Hello mga ka-learners! How are you? Today, we will learn about the prices of goods in the market. Do you notice how prices of goods always change? Sometimes they're cheap and sometimes they're very expensive. What are the factors that change the prices of goods? This lesson will discuss these matters and teach you how you could save money when you buy goods. After this lesson, you should be able to interview market vendors or furniture shop dealers about prices of the goods they sell and explain the relationship of the supply of a product with the demand for that product. Prices of products and goods change and there are reasons for this. During the rainy season, vegetable prices increase compared to their natural prices. Why? Most of the vegetable fields get flooded during the rainy season. It is also difficult to plant vegetables because they easily rot when they get wet. Do you also know that most suppliers of vegetables are from rural areas? It is difficult to transport vegetables during the rainy season. These start in the months of June, July, and August. Because of this, only a few traders bring their vegetables to the city markets. And yet, the number of buyers doesn't decrease, so prices go up. Tomatoes, watermelons, and mangoes are cheaper during summer because they are in season. These are the months of April and May. During the rainy months, their trees don't bloom much. Few blooms mean fewer fruits. This is why prices of these fruits increase during the rainy season. During clear, moonlit nights, fish and shrimp prices increase because of fewer catch by fishermen. The reason for this is that fish spread to different parts of the sea or lake. It gets difficult to catch them. When the cloud hides the moon, the fish crowd near the fishing boat. Only then are fishermen sure to get a big catch when they throw their nets. Have you ever thought about why it is cheaper to buy electric fans during cold weather? Few people buy electric fans during cold weather. If a store has plenty of stocks, it goes on sale. These stocks have to be sold in order to regain capital. Offering products with sales will help stores sell their products fast. Have you ever been to the market when fruits such as mangoes or watermelons were very abundant? If you have, you would notice that their prices are very cheap. For example, one kilo of mangoes may cost only 35 pesos per kilo. But during the rainy season, it may be worth as much as 100 pesos or even higher. What makes their prices very low at times? What makes them expensive at other times? Do you know that the law of supply and demand applies not only to fruits but to everything that we buy? This may be rice, meat, vegetables, or even appliances. The law of supply and demand states that if there is an abundant or high supply and a decrease or lower level in demand, prices of products and goods decrease. This makes products or goods cheaper. If there is an increase in demand and a low supply, prices of products and goods increase. This makes products or goods expensive. If there is a balanced supply and demand, prices remain normal. Don't you ever wonder why so many people buy goods or fruits when they are abundant? They buy these goods because they are cheaper. This way, they are able to save money, which they can use for other important things at home. The law of supply and demand is an advantage to consumers or buyers if there is an abundant supply. This makes the prices of products or goods very cheap. If the supply is low and there is a high demand, prices increase. This makes products or goods expensive. You must remember that products and goods are cheap if supply is plenty. In order to save money, take note of the months when supply is abundant and you can buy products or goods at cheaper prices. This will enable you to buy something you need or want at good prices. At the same time, you are also able to save money for the other needs of your family. Earlier in this lesson, you learned that the season or month affects the prices of products and goods. 
It is also important to know that the price of products and goods is also affected by any development or news regarding the condition or situation in the country and in the world. An example of this is the mad cow disease in Europe. The mad cow disease is a progressive and lethal disease affecting the central nervous system of cattle. When people heard of the mad cow disease, many consumers were afraid to buy products produced by cattle, such as beef. Many countries were affected. Sellers lowered the prices of their meat products. However, people still didn't buy them. Consumers were afraid that the disease would have an effect on people. Consumer confidence was regained when affected countries started to address the problem. They did so through stricter policies regarding cattle and continuous research on how to cure the disease. In the case presented, the people were afraid of buying cattle products because they fear that these products will have an effect on their health. Despite the lowered prices of cattle products, people didn't buy these products because they feared they would get sick if they ate beef. Consumer confidence was regained when people realized that many studies were being conducted about the disease and how it affects people's health. People realized that finding a cure for the disease was a priority of the government, which made people think that it was safe to buy cattle products once again. As a wise buyer, it is important that you consider your health when you buy products or goods. You may be able to save money, but will the product prolong or shorten your life? Let's remember, the prices of products and goods may vary depending on the season or month. Vegetables are expensive during the rainy season because they easily rot when wet and are difficult to transport. Fruits, such as mangoes, are cheaper during the summer because they are in season. There are other situations or conditions which may affect the prices of products or goods. One example is the discovery of a disease that affects animals like cows and pigs. It is important to know which product is cheap and at the same time is also of good quality. This will help you save money. Talk to vendors in markets and stores to find out which products are cheap and of good quality. If there is an abundant supply and less demand for the product, Prices are cheaper. If there is a shortage in supply and a high demand for the product, prices become expensive. If there is a sufficient supply and a normal demand, prices of products and goods remain stable. That's the end of our lesson on the prices of goods in the market. I hope that these learnings will help you become a wise buyer and consumer. As always, para madagdagan ang karunungan, magtanong sa mas nakakaalam o di kaya tumingin at magbasa online. See you on the next episode!